Hello everyone, I'm Christian Negulescu and today I will show you how to create your own report. So, so take a look, we have here a report yeah. that's in Salesforce. And I'll try to replicate this report on, on, uh, on UA Path Studio using Salesforce API activity. I have here an empty Excel file, so the report will be exported here. Let's close the, the Excel file and let's see how we'll do this. Yeah. So you see that we have a report on the opportunity, but we have also elements from account. So let's see how we'll do this one. So I have already the Salesforce API connector, and I will just drag and drop this data wizard. Inside of this data wizard, I will go and select an opportunity system, and I will put, let's say, this date. This is just for cleanup, yeah? Okay, and now we need to see exactly what to, what we did. So we took the account number, so it's an opportunity. Yeah, we have the opportunity selected. It's an account number, account name, account local, and then opportunity ID. So let's go to the information. Let's go here and let's check the account. Yeah. So we have the account number first thing. Yeah. Let's see here. Let's say number number and we'll put the account number then let's put name and we'll put the name let's hear the name and put the name okay then we have to go to the opportunity we have i think here we have the opportunity the opportunity name type sheet total amount uh, let's uh, go on the opportunity table, opportunity, OPP, opportunity, and let's search for the parameters, and let's see what we have. So, on the opportunity table, we'll have the um, ID, first it was the ID, yeah, then we'll have, the, let's see what we have here. Then we have the name, the type, and the, look, the amount. Yeah. So the opportunity name, the type. Uh, type, take a look, it's here. And amount, yeah. Total amount, we have it here. Okay, then we have the owner ID. Yeah? So for the owner ID, I will add it. This is what else we have. Uh, we have phone, billing, uh, code, billing, city, billing address, and number of products. These all are from the, um, the account. So let's go to the phone. Uh, let's go to account again and check out phone. Account. Let's see what we have. Phone. Probably we'll have it. Here, phone. My hand. No, sorry, my phone. Yeah, then zip code and city. Let's see the city zip code. Zip code. Code, postal code. And what else we have? We have the address. Address, okay. And last but not least, we have the um, number of products. Yeah, but this one we have it on the opportunity, not on the count. So opportunity. Uh, let's see now. A number of products, yeah? And that's it. That is our select. We can run it to see the data, or you can save it. He will save it here. He will return the database. The data table. Okay. And we need a scope for this one. Let's 
here uh, let's define it. so we'll define it here uh, la, la, la. here we'll, we'll define the variable on this one so we'd call it call D. Ah, we already have we already have the DT sorry my bad so here we'll put the main desktop main here on the right range we'll add the headers okay and we'll have our custom report built on uh, uh, on our SOQL yeah and you have the data here perfect let's take a look on the data again I will uh, I'll remove the the data to Move the data to do not. I will just let the headers. And you can see that we have the count number, the amount, everything is here. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one.